this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I am going to show you just an easy sunflower design that I'm going to paint on just the front of this um, serving dish. Now this is good, this type of dish would be good if you were doing like a layered salad, if you were doing some kind of a mousse dessert where you're layering it or fruits or whatnot or something else that I have actually done in the past was to paint beautiful flowers around the outside edges of this bowl, put water in it and float flowers in it and a couple like floating candles. It makes a very very pretty centerpiece if you're looking for something special for say the holidays or um, a wedding you know whatnot. So to get started I am going to be using a couple brushes. One once again is going to be my number 12 flat brush. I'm sorry I'm trying to hold this thing keep it from rolling off. I guess I could set it up. Alright 12 flat brush from plaid. I have a three-quarter scruffy brush that's also plaid one stroke and then their small quarter inch scruffy. Pants I will be using are Moon Yellow, Sunflower, Yellow Ochre. These are for the leaves of the sunflower. Center will be with the real brown and I think I probably shouldn't do a mixture. I think I'm going to do it with black. We'll see how that works. I've done it with black before but I really, I used to, they used to make a real pretty rusty color and I can't even remember what it was called. They made awesome centers. Alright, now I'm going to do Thicket and Happy Green. All of these are folk art paints. Some of them are multi-surface and some of them are um, the enamel. Alright, so I'm trying to double load my scruffy brush. Putting it in the brown. I might need to put a little bit more of that brown in here. Did I say what it was? It was real brown. And I'm just going to, I always like to start with my bigger opened flower as the main focus when I'm painting. So we're just kind of putting it on here and just going around. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just dipping it in the black, kind of a bit on each side, and I'm going in and just circling around it here. Alright, so then I'm going to switch over to my smaller brush because I'm just going to do a couple, I'm not going to do a ton of these, just to give you an idea. That's all. I mean, it's just a little going to be partially open over here and then same thing over here. Both, both of these are double loaded. Alright and do this. Then I might do some on, on the opposite side too just to kind of make it symmetrical. Even though I don't really care if it is. I don't know why I'm worried about that. I can't really say I'm worried about it, but... Alright, now with this brush, because you can do your you can do your brush or your strokes for the the actual leaves differently. You can pull them towards the flower or you can pull them away. I like to pull them away and try to get to this with when the paint is still a little bit wet. You can also do this with just one layer of petals. And I'm just dipping all this this brush into all those different colors. Or you can add a second row, which I probably will add a second row. 
because when you look at a real sunflower, it actually has more than one row. But for some reason when we paint them, we have a tendency to paint them with just the one row a lot of times. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but okay. And you can make them with shorter, shorter uh, flower petals in different places or longer ones. You can overlap them. You can have them going in different directions. It's really just up to you. See, I, I like to give you a lot of options on your own. Okay, so we're going to have this one. Okay, let me go ahead and, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go over this again. Well, change my mind. I'm going to do this one because, like I said, I do like to get them with their, when the paint, the center part of the paint is wet still. But I don't want to cover up because I am going to go back over my design. So I don't want to cover it up too much. I mean, and you can, you can, I don't know you want to say this, add. Know, just decide on how many uh, petals you want to add. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller when I'm doing this. Or shorter, I should say. They're probably not smaller in the width, but they're shorter. And if you don't like so much black, then just go back over it. I just like, I really do like to pull from the center end to my petals. I just think it gives it a pretty, just a pretty look. They're not just plain yellow. That's why I say when I had the the rustier brown that I was talking about, it just was so pretty. Now this is, you know, giving more of the black look, which is fine. Hey, you can do them however you want. There's all different color. It seems like there's a lot of different colors in sunflowers anymore too. So we don't have to do them just one way. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add this one, <clears throat> which is over here, and he's just going to be a little partially open guy too. Again, a lot of blocks coming in here, so let's try to cover up the best I can. Like that, and if you want, you can have more than just one open flower too. I'm just trying to do this design so you can see it fairly quickly and and move on. Alright, so what I like to do once I've done this, let me throw some more paint. I'm going to set this up for a second. <clears throat> Put some more brown down here. Let's go back over my centers. Okay, so I'm going to dip it in the black, dip, or dip it in the brown, dip it in the black, pat it a little bit, and then I want to go back over the parts where I just painted to kind of complete them a little bit here. So it doesn't look like I just stuck them on. If you get what I mean. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. See this way, then it doesn't look like I just stuck the petals on the flowers and um, they actually are part of the flower. And I'll do the same with these. Might even round them out a little bit more. And then I think it just gives it a more a more complete look. I'll make sure I'm getting them on. So once again, I'm just tapping over these again and trying to make them look like they're all together here. And then let's do all of them. Again, this is the part you don't have to do, but I think it finishes it off nicely to kind
come back over, especially if you're like me and you pull the paint from the center of the flower. It makes it nicer if you do that. All right, so the next part. Sorry, just washing my brush off. So for the next part of it, I am going to do the greens. My brush got kind of crazy there. And sorry, I dipped my brush in it wrong. And gotta do my little stem. Do my little stem up into here. You probably won't see it too much because I'm gonna actually paint um, the leaves, but it's there for my, my mindset. All right, so then with this, I'm going to do this kind of a leaf. For some reason, it doesn't want to be opaque for me. I'm going to do it again. It's okay to go over some of the flower petals themselves because again in nature they're not going to be just all perfect. What happened to that? Truly are not. in some of the yellow from the flower. I'm just bringing it down. Like I said, I'm trying to make it opaque, but <clears throat> it's not working with me very well. This is kind of a hard piece to, you can do these. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Okay, so when you're painting these, if you need to go over them again to make them more opaque, by all means, definitely do it. You can just wipe that off too if you want. All right, let's go over here. But if you might, actually, I do have a stem on this. Yay! So I always have such a hard time with things when I'm, I don't have a stem. I keep putting my fingers and everything, ruining the the painting. down in here if you want to fill them in more. Let's see, where else do we want to put it? Just kind of trying to figure out the logistics of your leaves. Let's see here, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm just going to go to the regular one strokes. A little simple. Right, it's pretty easy. Can you just envision using this though as a 
maybe over the upcoming holidays using this little piece and instead of putting food in it putting candles and flowers in it. I mean I love love flowers obviously. Those are my favorite thing to paint. But I think it's just so so pretty and just so easy. I mean you can look around if you want to add more flowers, if you want to add some filler flowers to it, by all means do so. It just doesn't have to be you know, to be pretty it doesn't have to be really hard to do. It can just be simple strokes and some basic paint. Now you can leave it at that or if you want you can do a couple things. You can actually do dots or you can take maybe a small liner brush and take, let's just take some of the sunflower kind and then you just go, got you on here, just kind of go like this just tap, tap it in a little bit. Doesn't have to be anything real crazy. Maybe even just do a little tad bit over here, tapping it in. Tapping it in over here, just to indicate maybe some sun hitting on it. And just put it, leave it at that. Easy peasy and pretty, pretty too, right? All right. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, you know that I would love to have you come back. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit that, that share button that's underneath the video. Share this with your friends and family on your social network. I would appreciate it. And until the next time, thanks again for stopping by. I will see you then. Have a good one.